sure how do the chums. We reconvene with my living ship build. Now, I, it says here the void is humming. The void egg is humming on a strange frequency of waiting contact. So it's as if it's already in my inventory somewhere. The, the fragile sort of breath thing, or whatever it was that I was building before. Which I can only assume that it is. Oh, okay. Thanks, so suit. Yeah, okay. Mature heart node. We've got this thing. The singularity core. I think that's what I was just building, wasn't it? So it looks like I've got all the parts. So I think I've just got to zoom out into space now. I went up to my freighter briefly just to make sure all my frigate missions were debriefed. And uh, it completed. So here we go. Let's um, let's let's warp shot. Let's pulse shot. We and see if it comes and communicates. Sweet. If I go into the log, I fulfilled the request of the void egg as best as I can to understand it. I should m make contact with the egg. So let's see if we get contact with the egg. Oh yeah, it does look freaking awesome in here. Maybe I need to jump to a new system and do this. Mm, don't know. So far, I've had luck just doing it wherever. Come on, come on, any time now. You know you want to. Now. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Incoming message. Quick menu. Hello there. It's nearly complete. But here we will diverge. If you share yourself with us, it is sacrifice. There is no infinite mind to spill. It must be yielded. The song of this strange space creature has changed subtle, but unmistakable. It has become a duet, a perfection harmony with the void egg. Continue to listen. Come here. The voice of the alien is fading. It feels weaker and in a perfect inverted echo. The void egg grows in volume, its music now insistent, pounding. It has its own message. What the fudge? The void egg seeks a specific world, examine the egg in the inventory to learn of its requirements. Well, before all I've done is just spun the ship around and looked at a few planets and it puts the marker on it. So, I don't know whether I do need to go look at the inventory. Oh yeah, we, we will anyway then. We'll humour it. Okay, here's the egg. Oh, what the fudge? It says the hunter, reflection, the hunter, the spiral of reality, the star over water, the ascending orb, the obscured companion, the hunter, the lowly insect, the anomaly, the sailor. It's given me a portal code in the Euclid. Great. Okay. Um, this is going to be tricky to do in VR. I'm going to have to go and find myself a portal, I think, and key this code in. Okay. It seeks a specific world. Examine the egg and the infantry to learn of its requirements. Unconventional travel may be required. I'd freaking say. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to go to my portal base and we're going to go use a portal and work out what this code is. Let's go on in. I guess. I'll see you down at my portal. Okay, people? See you at my portal in a mo. See you in a bit. Right, oh, people. I'm at my portal. Let's go on in. And let's activate Kate, it. Now, because I can't really look at the egg while I've got my helmet on and all that sort of stuff, I found online the portal code. So I'm hoping it's the right one. We'll give it a go. Okay, I can put that on my lap. I can sort of see it below me right now in my peripheral view. Okay, so here we go. And activate my portal. And there's like a pigeon. Pigeon. Reflexione. And a pigeon. A whirly twirly black hole. Sunset. A waypoint marker. And an eclipse. A Burlingman bird bird. A beetle. Okay, and hopefully I've got this right. A message just popped up and I got a little bit lost. A voxel or cube, a boating and boat face, and a pigeon. I think that's right. Here we go, people. Sweet. 
Yeah, it looks like a WhatsApp message just came in from Wolfie about the DLT. I don't know whether that's for Starfield. I'll have a look later. Let's go on in. Hey, guys. And away we go. Okay, we have arrived. It says first contact. The void egg seeks a specific world. Warning, current planet signature does not match void egg resonance. Maybe I fluffed up on the code, people. Because I would... Hold on, there's bases here, though. All right. Maybe it's in this system, but just not on this planet, then. Because look how many bases are here for a random place. I mean, it says first contact, but I don't overly trust it. Okay, let's um, let's bring up the log. So the hunter, which is a bird, reflection the hunter, the spiral of reality, the star over water. Let's just let's just put this against what I just did. Okay, bird reflection bird. Yes. Star over. Okay, the spiral of reality. Yep. Yeah. Star over water. The ascending orb. The obscured companion. Yeah. You know, the eclipse. Hunter again. The Lonely Insect, The Anomaly, okay, The Sailor, and The Ocean King, which is the fish. Oh, I put a bird at the end, didn't I? Not a fish. I think I cocked up on the last one, maybe. I think I put in a bird. I think. Hold on, let's just uh, have a look at this portal code. Well, that... Okay, we'll go back through, and I'll do the code once more, just in case. Okay, chums, let's do this one more time. Let's uh, let's give it a go. Ah, oh. there we go. Come on, activate portal. It's weird how it puts it right over to my right-hand side as well. And that's an accident waiting to happen. So bird, reflection, bird, whirly twirly. Sunset, waypoint, eclipse, bird. Last four, beetle, what it calls the anomaly, which I call a voxel, a boating and boat face, and the last one, a whale. I think I put the last one as a bird. I think. Could be mistaken. Let's see if it takes us to exactly the same planet. And we shall see. Okay, is this a different one? Planet signature matches void egg. Yes, I must have gotten it wrong by one digit or something. Okay, this is this is where we need to be. I think a lot of people might have got the last digit wrong as well because, yeah, that other bit, that other planet was full of bases too. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Let's go then. I'm guessing I just take off. Oh, look, there's a marker there already. So we're taking off. We follow that marker. Wherever it's gone. Okay, I've got a weird sound effect going on. Alright, well, um... Where's the marker blinking gone? Oh, great. There's so many markers here. I can't see for love nor money. You know what? Aha! There it is. It's behind me. No. Oh, I don't know. Why Why is my ship making sounds like it's a freaking solar ship? You know what? I'm just going to land back here. Oh, land for fudge. Please, just land. Come on. It's not landing. It's not landing. I don't know why it's not landing, but it's not landing. Frickin' land! Okay, it's not landing, people. And it's making weird noises every five seconds. Okay, it's doing something. It looks like... There's a, there's a ship here already. Maybe I should turn multiplayer off. We've got bases everywhere, including at the portal, which is which is a real oddity. Maybe I need to turn off multiplayer just in case somebody else takes my living egg. 
Okay, right. Let's go into multiplayer. Let's turn this off quickly. Options, networking, multiplayer, disabled. There we go. Okay. Now, it, it's pointing that it's right here. It's saying that the egg is right here. Okay. The planet signature matches the void egg. Need the egg sing the song of the fallen traveller. Makes no, makes no sense. Log. Let's have a read of the, what it says in here. Acquire the archive sold for the egg's host. The egg pulsates with growing life force, straining to be freed from the lavery casing. The host vessel is nearly complete. It has been constructed as a machine, but now must inquire the mind. Well, this just makes no sense. And the marker just keeps vanishing right here. It's as if it should be right here. What is going on? There's a big freaking cave there as well. What the flying fudge is going on? Okay, right. Let's go to the infantry. Let's have a look at the old egg now. But I'm at the point where I'm going to give up. Because this is... This is bizarre, people. Okay, where's my egg? There it is. And it's just giving this area of space right here. It's not telling me anything. And the marker... As you can see, it's going all over the freaking shop. So you know what? I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, and I'm going to do a reload of the game and just hope that it sorts itself out. I have no idea what's going on right now, people. Options. Quit to mode select. Yes. And we load back in. And we'll see what happens, people. Okay, gems, I've loaded back in, and now we've got a marker. There it is, over there. Can I lock it in? I um, probably could, if I knew the button to press. Ah, yeah, sod it. Right, okay. We're going to try flying towards it, but I've got a feeling it's going to freaking vanish. As soon as I take off. But we'll see. Nope, it's staying there this time. It's only 18 seconds away, so I'm just going to fly there. I'm not going to do any cuts on this one. There you go. I thought it would vanish on me. I thought it would freaking vanish. That's what I was worried about. Because there's so many markers here, I knew this would happen. Mission destination reached. Be land to begin search. All right. Well, it just so happens to be a base here, so let's land here then. There we go. Right. Nope. It's not doing it on that. Okay, where is it? I wish I could disable bases. I wish I could disable other players' markers. Because now the, the, it's just vanishing again. It's just appearing and then vanishing all the time. Planet signature matches, yeah, and I can't see Toffee. Yeah, it's not got the sweep scanner. It's not telling me where I need to go. Hold on, here we go. Right, I can only but hope it's over this way. It's saying it's this way, but I'm not too sure. Uh, hold on, it just pointed that way. The marker keeps appearing and then disappearing. All right, and the only thing is I can't run in this view. So, just carry on this way. And um, if I find it, I'll let you know. If I get too frustrated and turn this off, I'll also let you know. Okay, chums, a storm has hit, but it's superheated. So I can use my jam pack. It's, it's been freaking fun. I've been flying all the way here. Now, somebody did say, Captain Steve, how comes in VR you just walk and run? You don't actually use your melee strafe jump. Well, there's no melee button to hit. You just hit like that in this. You can't really do melee strafe jumps. And when you're using the flight button, the one to turn you is the joystick near to the flight button, but you've got to keep your finger on it. So it makes it really difficult to fly and turn in the air. It's all right if you're just flying in a straight line like this and you just do double jumps and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, when it comes to navigation in VR, it's got a lot to be desired. Well, it has for me anyway. Oh no, I nearly fell in that freaking hole there. Did you see that? 
Oh, that's a shame. The storm is clearing. I'm nearly there now, though, people. Nearly there. The double jump's not too bad, though, in VR, you know. So, apart from it doesn't always work. It looks like we're nearly there. Right, let's put this away. There we go. It's just over this hill. Okay, and it's taken us to this abandoned building. Righto. Fun times. I can't remember this living ship mission at all. Nothing that's going to whip me in the face. Good. There we go. Yeah, whatever. Just take that off. There you go. Residual glue resides somewhere else. Is that you, Kazert? Seems different. The terminal echo is an ancient signal from the final disrupted fragments of the fallen traveller. The signal is recording a loop captured by a strange device lodged in the terminal's input. Collect vessel. Soul chamber! A bino... Okay, constructed in design. A fusion complex search street. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, what do I do with that then? Inventory. Soul chamber. Doesn't tell me. Okay, we've got the soul chamber. Okay, I've got a new marker, have I? It's over yonder. Okay. Alright. Um, right. Well, I'm going to hit save at this little beacon. That's going to give me, hopefully, a navigational data. And I'm hoping there's a beacon somewhere around here where I could call my ship to me. And then I could just fly there for free. Okay, maybe not. Yeah. Alright. Well, anyway, let's, um, let's just call it to me anyway. Yeah, that one please. And I'm going to point it the way I want to go. I'll go that way. I don't know how far away that is. You know, if it was on Joypad, I'd be able to tell really easy. This, no, not a chance in hell. Right, here we go. Put the gun away. Okay, we're, we're in the ship. And we're taking off. Fly, my pretty fly. Okay, here we go. Over yonder hill. And away we go. Freaking awesome. I wonder how you do barrel rolls in this. Uh-huh. Just like that. Oh, my days. There goes my breakfast. Oh, that's freaking fun. Oh, I love that. Okay, well, it says it's going to take me 18 minutes to get there. Oh, no. Is that seconds, actually? 14 seconds or so. I don't know, actually. Who freaking knows? But it's going to take me time. I'm just going to fly here because I don't want that marker to vanish under a base marker if I fly up into space. So it's going to be a slow journey for me, but through the power of editing, we will reconvene in a moment, people. Heck yes, we shall. Okay, chums, well, I'm in the approximate location. Now, what I would say is in VR, I've been pressing the land button like crazy. And for whatever reason, it really doesn't like landing. I don't know whether it's because there's so many bases here or what, or how complex the planet is, but for whatever reason, I've had real difficulty. So if you're in VR, just be mindful of that. Oh, there's a traveler's grave there. I bet that's where it is. Okay, anyway, we're heading over there. Is this another storm? Have I got, like, infinite flight? No, not quite, but it's not too bad. Meow. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's over there. I, I quite like the double jump. The only thing is you do use it up quite quickly. Running is not too bad, but yeah, the melee strafe jump is not a thing. It'd be cool if there was some sort of combo button they could put into VR, VR to give you that ability. Oh, watch out for that. Don't want to get bitten. How close are we now? Let's have a look. Wrong button. Oh, just over that yonder hill. Okay, cool. On. Oh dear, I jumped right next to it. Sweet. Let me over the hill. Okay, there we go. There's the traveller's grave. I bet that's where we've got to go. Yes, it's got the egg symbol on it. Let's put the, the motor tool away. Let's go on down. Let's grab onto it. Let's see what it's got to say. Hello. Well, hello. Collect soul. Are you... Uh, 
Hold on. Am I putting your soul in that soul chamber? I am sorry, my friend. Goodbye, little pink panther guy. Holy fudge. And that's only 33% complete. I've got to do that for another three of these poor little chaps. Holy fudge. Okay, there's another one over there, apparently. Okay. Um. Well, that was not expected, was it? Okay, um... Yeah, sorry, little guy. Um, you're now in my soul chamber. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. We On to the next one, I suppose, people. Yeah, three of those to get my living ship. I think I vaguely remember doing this before, and I thought, this is a bit bad that we're sticking travellers' souls in to make this ship. Okay. We're going to have a ten seconds this way, people. And trust me, it's not 10 seconds. I was flying for a good 15 minutes before. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, people, when we get there. Well, people, I'm on my way, but you've got to see the waves during this storm. Look at that. Oh, man, the water effects now are freaking phenomenal. And in VR, look, I can see all the objects below the waves. Oh, this is incredibly cool. I really wish that, you know, the little Nomad Exocraft was actually affected by the waves. You could do gnarly jumps and stuff, like in that old Wave Racer game on the Nintendo 64. Well, that'd be freaking sweet, wouldn't it? Anyway, how close am I now? It's just over there, 300 U's. Okay, let's leg it. Let's see if we can get there. And the storms are so immersive inside of the VR, all the rain and stuff. It's, it is cool. But for you guys watching right now, I'd imagine this just looks like a whole blob of grey, maybe. But inside of this helmet, I tell you, it's, it's, it's visually quite cool. Right, how far now? Only 100 U's, not far. Just over this little lip, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Meow. Okay, where now? 60 U's this way. Apparently, it's right in front of me. Apparently. Um, okay, give me the other option. Where? I don't see it. Right here. 23 U's. It's below me. Is it? Holy fudge. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Couldn't see it for looking. Who's there? Collect soul. It's another little pink panther guy. <laughs> okay, I don't feel so bad now because he looks exactly like the last guy. So it's almost like I've just got one. But anyway, that's moved up to 66%. And it's giving me a final marker all the way over there. Okay, well, let's uh, call in my ship. And we're doing this one more time, people. The calling in the ship in VR is a little bit weird. It's like... Got to use telekinesis or something. Alright, here we go. Does look freaking awesome though, those effects. I have to say, in flat mode, when storms roll in, it's quite difficult to see. In VR, that difficulty gets ramped up by, you know, at least an extra 50%, you know? It adds to the immersion though, and it adds to the alien feeling of planets. Good. I'm glad the storm's clearing. Um, hopefully that's going to get a better sort of visual feeling for you guys and the viewer of us, and for me. Right, anyway. Let's uh, clear the atmosphere up where the air is clear, and let's let's see if we can actually bring this one down and see if the marker still appears. It does. Good. Yes, it locked on as well. I think it has anyway. Success! Okay, I thought I'd chance it on the last one. Pretty risky, I know, but... Trust me, I've been flying around for a while now. This is um, this last part has been has been a long, long one. Yeah, here we go. It's approximate location somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, it land, 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 land. Oh, it landed as well. Good. Okay, cool. I do like this planet, and I prefer it when the storm isn't on. And um, we're only six hundred years away. There it is over there. Cool, let's, let's leg it there, people. 
Let's do a double jump. Double jump doesn't always work. Oh, don't take me in the cave. Way, I jumped over the cave. That was nicely done. I guess. Not far to go, people. Not far at all. This is cool. The scale of the trees and everything in VR. It just You just feel so small in comparison to the universe. And then even so small compared to the planet. It's like, this rock, it's massive. You know? Everything takes on a different sense of presence inside of VR. And seeing planets hanging off in the sky like that, it's just... It's transportive, it really is. I'm freaking loving playing in VR. I did say in the last episode, though, people, that once I've got my living ship, and once I've seen the interior inside of VR, the rest of my actual playthrough of upgrading the living ship, I'm going to do in flat mode. Okay, mainly just because it's, it's not that great watching back on 2D when you're trying to watch something in VR. I mean, yes, I will play VR games in VR, but this is, it's got VR as a bolt on, you know what I'm saying? So here we go. I, if I can play it in flat mode, I'll play it in flat mode. Where did you what? Collect soul. Goodbye, Pink Panther guy. He's the same as the last one, so there we are. Well, that's all of them, isn't it? Am I done? Acquire archived soul for the egg host. We have. Okay, what's next then? It's a little while to register and update the mission. Soul Archive complete. Return to your own reality via the portal. It has marked the portal for me. I'll see you guys back at the portal. Okay, I'm back at the old portal. Oh, where's my controls? There we go. Zoom. Let's get out. Let's go back through the portal then. There we go. Soul Archive complete. Whoa! Nelly! Okay, I've arrived just as a storm rolls in. Await contact. I'd imagine that's in the stars, I think. I think so. Well, we're going to go do it. Traveller, forgive your invasion of your personal interface. Well, okay, I already took off. We're dying. Our body is old, fading, our mind unravels. We must renew. We must restore it in a way that has always been. Refresh us, reset Reset us. Rebirth what you have made. Will it be the same unknown? But it must. Hatch the egg. A set of coordinates have been beamed to my navigational computer. Okay then. Cracking void egg times one. Right. Okay. Let's head up into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear, and let's just hope that we can locate. Okay. I will. One second. Aha, we've got a marker. We've got a marker. It's over there. It's off planet. It's taking me round said planet, off planet, and to another planet. It's 24 seconds away. I'll see you when I get there. Now, I have seen guides on if you don't like the living ship you're given, how to find a different living ship. Now, after you've done this once, you can just buy another void egg and go to anything you found on the coordinate exchange and find your own, like, ship that way. But I'm just going to go with the one that I get gifted, I think, people. Okay. Oh, fudge. Somehow my hand came off the joystick. Ah, what about the, the... No! I did not press the boost button. Okay, right. Okay, gently. Gently does it. I think I've got lucky. This one looks quite nice from what I saw of it as I flew past at lightning speeds. There we go. Oh, yes, I think I have got lucky. This one looks like it's got a full shell to it. This is nice. Okay, let's land. Sweet! land there we go and i'm out oh yeah i think i got quite lucky on this one what do you guys think in the viewer verse let me know in the comments do you like my living ship i think it looks all right i would prefer if it had some side plating on it. it's got quite a lot of exposure to its um organs there we go 
But you know what? I quite like it. There we are. Begin biogenesis. Yes, there we go. We've we'll stuck that in. Yeah, we're just sticking in all the bits now. The ship is complete. Awaken host. It is done. It is alive. The bit I've been waiting for, people. Yeah, compare. Claim ship. I think I will. Right. Oh, yes. Look at this. How cool is that? Visit your old friends in the anomaly. Oh, man. Look at that joystick. Look at this thing. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's like some sort of alien tongue. Okay, well, let's fly on up. Oh, I'm loving all the... Oh, this is cool. Okay. Okay, let's um, go. Ha-ha! Flight of the Navigator. Eat your heart out. Okay, here we go then. Quick menu. Call in the Nexus. Let's fly on in. Let's have a look at it in the lights of the Nexus to see exactly what I've got here, people. Sweet. Now, I have also heard that there is a way to get the technology to make this thing land on water. Haven't done it in my legacy save. Didn't know about it. Somebody let me know in the comments that you get it from your living frigate somehow. I don't know how. Oh, where's the handle to get out? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's that's pretty cool. It's like black and white, isn't it? I think it's black and white. That is really sweet. Okay, come back out of that one. Go, in, go into the other menu. Okay, let's have a look. Inventory. And Starship. Yes, it's black and white. Well, my logo colours are black, white and red, but I can live with black and white. That looks freaking great. Ah, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm just going to jump in, jump out, create a save. Done, Dilly, and done. Awesome. Welcome, my new addition to my ship range. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so next time, people, I'm going to be looking to see if we can get all the different technology bits for this in the old region space where I used to do the pulse fishing. People have told me that it no longer works. In fact, I'm having mixed messages. I'm having some people say, thank you very much. This was brilliant. And other people saying, this hasn't worked for some time. So I'm going to go and find out for myself whether it works or whether it doesn't. So I've got that coming for you guys in the Viewerverse fairly soon. But until next time, people, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Ah, ending soon.